So it's crazy. Gout is a weird thing, man. I was eating meat for a month and a half. No pills, no gout. Not one time. Just meat every day. Every single day meat. Lost 25 pounds, zero gout. I, I, I don't take my pills for exactly six days on a high protein diet and I get fucking gout. During the, was, the, the carnivore diet, you didn't take the medicine at all? No, month and a half. And now because you have vegetables and other sugar-based foods? I don't, I don't know I don't know what it is. Like you see, I, I can't make the correlation. Now you, I just, now you need the pill to balance. I it. just know, I just know that high, high, high uh, protein through just a meat source, meaning the purines coming solely yeah. from the meat source is not enough to cause gout. But uh, the mix of different things could. That, that's all I know. That, that's the only correlation you can make. But it was just weird. I was like, oh, no. But it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad one. Like, I went, I went to work, you know? I thought I was going to be out of commission. It's, no, it's never really a good one either, you know? No, but I used to get... Uh, I remember, bro. Yeah, remember. it would throw me off for like, for like a month. <laughs> I remember. Like, for a fucking I would, month. I, if, I would, if I would sneeze on your toe, bro, you would die. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the wind from the sneeze would move the toe enough to hurt him. I don't understand. Yeah, like, yeah. It, what do you feel? You feel pain? Like, it's sensitive. What is it? It's like, arth- <laughs> sorry, like arthritis, but it's not yeah. arthritic. It's crystals. So it's the scraping. last time? Mm. Like, the last time? Like, when Thursday? Thursday was like, oh, okay, it hurts. I can't walk. Like, I'm limping. I have to be careful. Like, with the kids running around. Like, if somebody steps on it, you die. <laughs> but the, the bad ones, the bad, 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 the acute, the acute severe gout attack, I can feel atmospheric pressure on my leg. You know, the atmosphere. <laughs> if the, the atmosphere barometer the is high, he can it. tell. He can tell the barometer pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> like, like, like on one leg, the atmosphere is just crushing my foot. <laughs> like, and, the, uh, and the rest of my body is uh, good. Uh, today, I wish I was on the moon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's how bad funny. gout is. Welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. Welcome to another dad versation. Hope you're doing well. George and Chris are both here. Um, Didn't we say we were going to stop saying that? That you're here. Okay. No, no, the dad versation. I love the dad versation, though. It sticks well. It sticks. Okay. Then stop, then stop saying people, that. People have asked me, what then, is that hashtag? Then you know what? After a year and a half, Stop thanking us for being there, bro. Please. <laughs> thanks, thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> George and Chris are here. And then at the end, thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> thanks for waking up. <sighs> this is probably, or at least I'd love to think it's uh, it's probably the last time that we'll be doing this over Zoom. Uh, What's up to you, George? We're allowed uh, to convene I, 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 sent you, I sent you guys a message so that we can uh, come over, but, uh, but it's fine. It's you okay. Didn't, you didn't seem, you weren't very convincing. You know what? Because this, and we've said we've spoken about this before. There's something practical about Zoom, but something really shitty about it. The fact that you can just, you know, open your computer at home and do this. But uh, I do prefer the uh, uh, the in studio. Yeah, but it isn't gas at a buck seventy now. <laughs> a buck eighty, depending on what you put. It's a buck eighty. Ooh, one eighty nine. I guess yes. I, I, I don't even. I don't even look. I have. A, I have <laughs> yeah. electric, I'm a quite electric car. That's <laughs> uh, true. <Yeah. sighs> He's laughing at us now. Uh, so I, didn't I, 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 tank, I usually do uh, between tanks. I usually do like I don't know, fourteen hundred kilometers. Oh, wow. wow, that's pretty wow. good. I, guys, I do so much mileage. I think I've gassed three days in a row. That's disgusting. It is disgusting. It's horrible. You're, you're what's wrong with the uh, with the planet, apparently. Uh, yeah, I, I'm <laughs> the one at fault for everything happening. <laughs> yeah. How dare you work? It's, it's it's true. It's it's not manufacturing. It's yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's me. It's me driving around like a maniac. According to some, according to some. Uh, yeah, no, but I hope that this is going to be the last time. Um, and uh, I don't know, man. Just a weird time that we're living in, eh? with everything happening in Ottawa and all over the country. People just, you know, being loud about whatever, getting quote unquote their freedoms back. And I don't want. I don't. I don't want to jump into that. Uh, no, of course uh, you do. <laughs> of course you do that. <laughs> that one. But you uh, your bike too. 
It's, Apparently, uh, the, they sent in uh, army. No, the army is not there, they were, but they and they were, uh, and they, were pl- they were plying through uh, like non-violent people, and they were wait, George, through. George, let me let me just clarify. I didn't, something. I didn't hear about the let army. Me just I, heard, I heard that they got uh, the the provincial police from, from Quebec. Is there yeah. about, from the other provinces if they went? I have the answer for that. What they did is they, they sent the cavalry, people that look that look like they're part of the army, but they don't want to call it army. But but they look like they're from the army. Like but they're not calling it the they're army. Dressed, but they're, they're not calling it army. But, they're, but it's not actually the army. Yeah. I haven't of, seen. I haven't seen or heard that anywhere, guys. Uh, like I, one I, guy, a single guy can take out a village of like eighty people, but it's not the army. No, no. I, I, they, I had, the they had guys on horseback, but turning the turning protest, like very yeah. peaceful protesters. Uh, Whatever, depending on which side you, you see it from. I mean, there's arguments uh, on either side, but uh, it's just strange, man. It's just strange to see that. At the moment where everything seems to be turning positive and where we see some normalcy, um, the political aspect is just crumbling. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, it's supposed to be the opposite. It's supposed to be the political aspect that kind of opens the door and guides everyone into like, here we go. We did it together. Let's go. Not, Good job. not when they're trying to. And uh, there's so many things that just don't make sense. In any case, um, it seems as though things, you know, we're going to be getting our lives back or at least what we think uh, our lives are. I went, I went shopping and they didn't ask for a passport. So I guess I guess that's what you need. Yeah, they're dropping the vaccine, the, the vaccination passports in the large surfaces. I mean, by the by mid-March, it's going to disappear totally. Uh, I went over my uh, I, I went over um, some friend's house yesterday. Um, I don't know, man. It's just um, it's just good to see people. It's good to uh, maybe you know not pick up everything at 100 percent like it was before, but at least when you're on that kind of path where it's like, shit, I'm having drinks with people now, or I'm having dinner at someone else's house or whatever. It, it but I was told be- if I get tri- triple vax, I could do that. You don't need to. Uh, yeah, triple vax, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how things are going to evolve, but I just feel good that. Finally, that light is there that they've been promising right at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and th- that's good for us and for everyone listening or watching, because like we said in previous episodes, we had so many things planned that we had to put on hold, um, uh, like the videos and all those short clips that we did. And uh, we'll be bringing those back very, very soon. So we're working on dates and we're working on uh, filming and shooting those things. Um, and yeah, more importantly, uh, hopefully you guys can make it back into the studio so we can have normal podcast sessions again and uh and we have a few more guests that that um that should be coming up <laughs> why is chris raising his hand <laughs> i'm raising my hand because i have to go yeah chris chris needs to go he has uh daddy duties uh, that he needs to take care of so we'll uh we'll continue this with george without chris uh hey guys take care bro well, it's soccer practice right soccer and swimming yep Ah, Sundays. <laughs> Good. We're back, we're back. That's normalcy. We're back to normal life. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Back to back, back to being well. Back to everything being hectic. Yeah, but deep down, yeah, but deep down, don't you just wish that your kids could just get out of the house and do those things on their own? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet, though. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. You know what? Once they start doing everything on their own, we're going to miss that. You're right. So you might as well take advantage so of the time you, you have with you, you capture it now because then I, you're going to miss I it. I cannot imagine missing it. <laughs> George, yeah, you will, bro. Yeah, you will. Uh, no. Stop playing the tough guy, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, my, I'm not saying I'm not going to participate. I'm just yeah. saying. My, my oldest already started not needing us that much. It's just that, that when you're right in the middle of you're the one who's like, come on, you got to go. You have to go. It's once a week. <laughs> when yeah. you're self-motivated, uh, it feels, I'm, I'm imagining yeah. it feels better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. All right, Chris. We'll see you next Adios. week. Bro. How's it going, man? I'm good. Fuck, finally he's gone. Yeah. Fuck, he's annoying. Fuck with his gal. <laughs> <laughs> right, right no, before we but, started, uh, recording, you know, right before uh, we started uh, recording, just for everyone to, to Chris was talking yeah, about his gal. Hey, eh? you should air that part because there's a lot of people in our age group that suffer from this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna air it. Uh, Chris uh, got his got another gout attack. Uh, doesn't seem to be as violent as the previous ones that he got, but uh, very mysterious thing, man. You know, like um, and he was saying he was saying how uh, 
you know, he was doing the carnivore diet for a month and a half. He wasn't taking his medication. He was feeling perfect. And then now that he's in this whole new training program with uh, the proteins that he's taking and stuff, boom, it came, came back and hit him. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't have gout. Probably people listening to this or watching this do uh, at different levels. Uh, I don't know how it feels. I just don't understand how it comes and just out of the blue like that, you know? Yeah. It's the uric acids in your blood to leave crystallized deposits in your joints, and that's what kills. Something like that. But it's, okay. uh, yeah, it's terrible. Huh? Different things that uh, affect the different guys our age. How are you, yeah, man? How's it going? Good, good. Uh, it's been tricky with uh, the food. Why? You've been... Uh... You sound like Mickey Mouse. What are you talking about? Oh, it sounds a little high-pitched. Is it? Is it like Smurfy? It's, it's, it's in and out. Hold on. Little... Sounds okay now. Sounds okay. okay now. All right. Okay. Um... Yeah, so without the having like my regular... Uh, walks or jogs uh, it's hard to, to manage just the food you know yeah 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 it's tough you know now i i, I do uh i do once a week a 24 hour fast i started that in the beginning of february um and it's usually from saturday evening saturday night until the next day 24 hours um i haven't had a hard uh, like when i when i saw them like oh my god i don't know if i could do that and even from the first one from the get the idea the idea is is, is harder than, than what it actually yeah, the thought that shit, I'm not going to eat anything. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, thankfully, it's uh, I, I chose to do it Saturday to Sunday. There's so many things happening. And, you know, usually we go around, we have some work to do then with the kids. And like the day just passes to the point where I'm not yeah. even thinking about it. I, I wonder if I would have done it kind of like in the middle of the week where the kids aren't around. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if that would have uh, been harder. But so far, um, yeah, it um, it works. Uh, it hasn't really bothered me. I don't. I don't really suffer or, you know, go crazy for food. So, is that the only fast you do? You fast every day? No, I fast every day. I, I do about yeah. anywhere between sixteen to eighteen hours, nice. and then once a week I do a twenty-four hour one, and I train now. Uh, you, you do exactly what we've been telling you from. <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, no, I don't can't picture myself doing that. Man. There's no oh, man. fasting. No, yeah. I had tried. I, I had been doing fasting. Uh, it's been a year uh, or two years now that I've been on, on and off. off, on and off. Um, that doesn't really bother me. The fa the fasting isn't an issue. Um, it's when you go stupid. Uh, like you know, when you give yourself one day, you're like, ah, okay, I have a free day. You know, look or cheat day or whatever you want to call it, and you just go dumb. Like you go stupid, and then oh, like I did yesterday. You did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You bad, eh? Epic. Epic. Somebody else cooked too, and they brought it to my house, and it was great. Oh, even better. Even better when you don't have anything to do. It was so wonderful. And then yeah. I, they left. They left, and I had some more. <laughs> Were you thinking in your head, okay, get the fuck out of my house. It's late now. I just want to go pick no, up. No, I don't know. No, I could have had it in front of them. It's just, uh, yeah. I'm like, I said to myself, I'm not going to have this for another week. Let me have a little piece. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Still, to me, is a challenge because now I, I train uh, five days a week. This week, actually, I didn't. I did three, um, but I'm training way much more than ever before, uh, and it's 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 been going well. It's been going super well. All, all at home? Yeah, all at home. The nice. problem I still have, and where I need to fight kind of with myself, yeah. is to fall back into that territory where when you lose weight and you know, you, 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 you pass that threshold, you know, like, okay, I want to lose 10 pounds and you do it. And you know, okay, another 10 pounds. And then you do that again. And then you're like, okay, let's go for the, the other 10 pounds. And that's progressing well. And then at some point in your mind, you're like, dude, you're good, man. Let's go. Uh, you can grab a McDonald's or uh, have some garbage food or that is still, it sneaks in. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been okay. I've been okay to fight it off. Six, it's, it's, six days a week. You got to be on six days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can do it. If you just stick to it, you're gonna get to the next step. That's the hardest thing. And I've been I've been super okay since the beginning of the year. I haven't had garbage like I we eat at home, we cook, everything is everything is organized, everything is planned. Um, the trainings are there, uh, and still, man, almost maybe not on a daily basis, but at least one or two times a week, you're like, I'm driving in front of Tim Horton, should I grab a wrap? It's easier, or do should I just wait and go home? And you know whatever, cook some fish. 
<laughs> with your salad, you know? <laughs> it's always there. It sneaks in. Fuck. I think the, the, the power of the mindset, that is so difficult. So difficult to control. You got to box it up. Yeah, guaranteed. I, my, my problem is not that because I was already good with uh, the eating out. I, I eat out very little. Yeah. Very, very little. Even when I work with travel and stuff like that, I, I, I do groceries. And you bring with you, yeah? You bring with me or even when I get there, I, just, I, I, I prefer, I feel less guilty not eating that stuff. Right. Um, so I'm okay with, with that. Me, it's when I'm home with little to do. Or like sometimes, sometimes you're just watching your kids and maybe their friends are there and you're just, you know, yeah, you're yeah. just sitting there doing nothing. Let me look in the fridge and look in the pantry. Yeah, oh, I want to have some, 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 I want to have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some. <laughs> that, that's why being busy is key. Yeah, yeah. Key, key, key. but you got to get rid of that stuff, man. See, like us, we, we rarely buy stuff like that. So like the most, you know, quote unquote junk food that we have are the grilled cereal that they eat in the morning you know uh so there's no candy there's no chocolate there's no more cookies um i'm trying to think off the top of my head now what we have that candy. stuff's not my issue i don't eat that that stuff i only have if it's there if it's there and if you're in that situation no, where you're at right now you're like mm, what's, what's in the fridge i won't touch oh, it. No? I, won't touch. I, I have chocolate in my house constantly cookies in my house constantly yeah, i never yeah, it yeah. just i tend to just have larger volume more just want more food you know yeah, overall yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's where yeah. my uh, thing is. I want, I want to, I just want to have more because I there's bad habits creep in. It's so difficult. Man. Idle hands are the devil's playthings, right? That's for those wondering, for those wondering, or that have may missed a couple episodes, we extended our competition until the end of March. Um, is that little, all? I, got, it, I think I might need a little more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you caved in a little bit, eh? <laughs> No, no, it's just I, 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 I halted. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm like, I'm at, a, I'm at, a, yeah, I'm at, yeah, the, yeah. at the border. I need, I need to continue. Uh, uh, look, at the end of the day, man, it's just good for us. You know what I mean? It's not bad. I mean, I'm gonna tell you honestly, when we, when we so called started this, yeah, August of. Because, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about my thing a little. Yeah. Because I, I started this exactly five years ago, you know, February 14th, five years ago, February 15th to be exact. I had, a, I had a cheat meal on, on Valentine's Day. And the next day I said, I'm going to start counting my calories. Because on that Valentine's Day, I just put in numbers to see what I've been having. And I put in one meal's worth and I had already burned my calories for the day. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a, such a fucking failure. How, how do I possibly think I'm doing enough to lose weight? Yeah. And the next day I started this, this, this thing, okay? And then 10 months later, I lost all that weight. The one thing that... Uh, Oh, hold on. Sorry, they're calling. Just give me a second. <laughs> Dad, Dad. <laughs> this is this is the horrible thing about doing it over Zoom. Uh, you know, I mean, it's practical. It's all good. But the, um, the, the distractions, they're always there. They're never going to go away. Uh, I'm just covering time now while George is <laughs> talking to his kids. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, sorry about that. It's good. And I was saying it's. It's been five years, and I and I got to this goal, and I and I've never reached the ultimate goal. So I've been a less fat person for the last four years. I just can't get to that skinny person. It's yeah. such so hard, yeah. because these old habits just always creep back in, and and it becomes this hurdle because that last stretch is the hardest. Yeah, I don't know where you're planning to go with this, but that last stretch is the hardest. But those first ten months where I got through it, I had somebody that I was doing it with, and it right. was Communicating and bouncing ideas off daily, literally daily, at least Monday to Friday, or even you know a little more. And when we started this, I I was happy to have somebody to some people to bounce this shit off of yeah. with. You know, to, yeah. every time you hit a wall, you got somebody giving you pointers. Every time you hit a, a you know, because there's this progress depression when you're not getting any progress and yeah. you're, 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 you don't have the legs and you don't have the momentum. You need somebody to, to push you a little. Yeah. You know. And that's what I was most happy about. Now, you yeah. guys, we call it a competition because it's funny and we rag on each other. But it's really key that we have this extra pressure from our from our friends. And it's but it's it's more of a support. It's like we're a support group. Yeah. And that 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 installation for people that are trying to do this, if you could buddy up with somebody and do it together, I guarantee you there will be better results. Man. 
Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And you're right in, in saying that, yeah, we, we bug each other and we like we send each other messages. You're going, you guys are going down. It's over. I'm winning. I, we bug each other. But at the same time, well, we also give each other pointers. You know, but when one fucks time, up, we, we try to talk them up. You know, Chris just told me now uh, before uh, before you came on uh, that he lost 40 pounds. And I'm like, what the fuck? What? I thought I was doing well. And I'm like a little over 20. Uh, that I've lost and I'm feeling, yeah, I'm going to destroy these guys, you know? And, and I only started like now in like, I, I, I didn't like when we started last year in August, I think I took it seriously. I don't, I don't think, I don't even think I started right away. I think I start, I came, I started like about, you started right away. Uh, I think I came in maybe a couple of weeks later and then Chris came in about a month or a month and a half in later after that. Um, I did okay. It was mostly the fasting that I managed to maintain, but nothing significant in terms of weight. There was a lot of ups and downs. I would lose five, six, you know, eight pounds and thought to myself, yeah, I'm on the right track. And then, you know, it's what we said before. I would just fall back into the bad habits. And it wasn't until the beginning of this year where I'm like, okay, look, I'm going to sign up on a prog on a program and I'm going to try and follow it. And things have been going super well. Uh, and it's really this year that I've dropped, you know, the, 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 the over 20 pounds. Uh, and I'm looking at Chris and it's like 40. What the hell? What, how, what do you mean 40? And this is my goal now. I need, I need another, I need another, uh, I need another 40. I need to 40 pounds. 15 ish. Yeah. 15. Another uh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. I need another 30, 35. Around You're trying there. to go 35 more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, yeah. We, when we started, I was uh, just under 240. Man, dude, it's the, it's the most I have ever hit. And I was so like, disgusted with myself i was like what the how the hell is this even possible man you know um and i and i fixed the target of about 185 180 185 even 190 i'll be happy so um yeah it's a lot of weight it's a lot of weight well, it's, it's 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 okay but i'm almost well i'm not almost there i'm, uh, I'm around 220 now i'm gonna say this man little, yeah, even if you don't achieve it but you're always trying you want to be sure you won't, yeah. won't begin it you know, look, in my head, I don't see the 185. Uh, I just see what the next thing is. So I start off at 240. I'm like, okay, let me just get to 230. Okay. And then it's like, boom. And then in my head, I'm like, I'm never crossing 230 again. Which, by the way, I've told myself that sometimes before. Uh, and still, we managed to cross it. But, you know, uh, now it's the opposite. It, it, before, it was like, I remember, I remember when I hit 200 the first time. I think it was like in university or somewhere. There's some, you know, at some yeah, I think it was back then. And in my head, I was like 200. Shit, okay, that's it. Can't go over 200. And then, you know, a couple a couple months later, or a couple years later, I see 205. I'm like, hey, okay, that's it. 205, that's my max. That's it. And then it, you just kept pushing the boundaries, right? Okay, 210, that's it. No more. We got to start now. I, I'm never going over 210. And then boom, 215, 220, 230. And it, it like I, at some point, it's like, dude, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Because, you know, before you know it, I'll be like fucking 300. I'm like, okay, no more. That's it. 300. Fucking, and, you know? that fucking snowball. That fucking snowball. So you got you to gotta end it. So now I'm doing the reverse. It's like, okay, 240, let's bring it down to 230. And then after 30, it's like, okay, never 230 again. Let's focus right away. Let's go get 220. So I just passed that. And now the next is, okay, 210. And that's it. Like, I'm just, I, I'm not even looking at 185. I know that I'm, if I'm I gonna can say this, it, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say this. If you even stop looking at your scale and just keep doing it, it doesn't make a difference. Because to stay at the, your target weight that you eventually get to, you have to keep eating this way. And you have to keep you have at to, least yeah. being active this way. Yeah. To at least keep the weight there like, like your calorie in versus calorie out has to be maintained to maintain that weight so adjust to the to the portion that you're eating yeah that way you can keep it off moving forward but, and, and you know at the end of the day i think that's the goal i think that we're all trying and we've said it again yeah. we said it last yeah. week's episode with john and even other previous episodes where the struggle to make this a daily habit that you don't necessarily have to think about Right. Where like, and we've said many examples, like you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth, you go to the bathroom, you wear deodorant. It's like standard. It's like you cannot go to the bathroom in the morning and leave the bathroom without having done those three things. Right. You need to pee. You need to brush your teeth. And while you're there, you put on your de like that's my kind of morning routine. It's be it's become so like staple. that like, I go pee, brush deodorant. I'm out. I'm ready. That's, for the day. that's I've been there, too. I remember there was a point where I was training a lot, like 
like I have gym five, six times a week. And yeah. it becomes, a, it becomes a total addiction. And the moment you stop, well, old habits will always reappear. And uh, the only way, the only reason I didn't gain all that way back is because I, I, I still managed my portion. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and the dangerous thing, and this is Chris has spoken about this many times. When you reach that point where you're doing good in your training and you lose your weight and then you stop and those bad habits kick in, you continue on that path there, you know, of the bad habits and the eating, because in the back of your mind, and this Chris, I said it so many times, like, but I've done it. I know how to do it. I know how to lose weight. I can do it. It's not a problem. Yeah, you have a relaxed. Uh, yeah. So you kind of put that in the back burner. You're like, ah, if any, you know, if shit hits the fan, I know how to do it. I've done it before. So let me just indulge. You know, let me keep indulging, indulge, indulge. And you, you're just relying on the fact that you've already done it. Meanwhile, it's 10 years ago or 15 years ago. And you're not, you're no longer the same it person. It's easier than yeah? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. You're not the, the same body was person. more forgiving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, I think that for me is the goal. So I'm not. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, George. We're going to do how, it. Then we're going to. How are you doing? Where, where are you at now? How much have you lost? I peaked at uh, 41, but I'm about, about 36, 36. You went back a bit, yeah. Well, because I mean, because I'm not, I'm not doing the exercise. So I'm not yeah. getting that sweat out. So I'm holding that sweat, you know. Yeah. If I go start sweating, I'm, it's gonna, that first four or five pounds is just going to melt off. away. Exactly. I'm, I'm trying to get past that. I'm trying to get down to the 230 and below that 230, you know. 40. I got I to gotta get to that. But I, I think I have a, an advantage because uh, I start at a much smaller weight than you two. So the fact that I lost 20 pounds percentage wise, I think it no, puts me no, an advantage, no? No, it's harder. It's harder. Exactly. It's, which is why my it's harder 20, for you. It's harder for me to, to, to yeah. lose 40 pounds because of the initial weight that I started. So percentage wise, uh, how, about, how about you look like at it this my, way. like the 20, the, look, my 20 pounds at, that I've look, lost count. Look at the, look at this 40 way. that you've it's lost. It's easier. It's easier to drop on the scale on the scale, just overall pound for pound, number for number. The more obese you are, the easier it is to shave off when you yeah. start. Mm -hmm. So it's the, it's which level of obesity were you, if you were at a lower level of obesity, it's much harder to drop a pound. Mm-hmm. If yeah, you're at a higher level of obesity, the, the weight is just dying to fall off. Yeah, so we're seeing the same thing. So the fact that I, I was at a lower level and I lost 20 pounds, it's worth more than whatever 40 or 30 that you lost, which was easier to get, to get rid of. No, I mean, in terms of because we're, we're, we're not seeing at the end of the competition, sure. we're not going to look at the total weight loss, we're going to look at the percentage from the initial sure. weights, right? I could calculate, I could calculate the percentage, yeah, whatever. Hey. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and maybe look, we'll have to do the math and come back to people on that. I'm not going to sit here and, and let them watch me doing math on a calculator. But uh, maybe you're right. We'll do the math and figure it out. But what are you trying to say? You're fucking, you're flexing again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, let this shit melt outside. I'll show you, burn, baby. I'll show you, burn. I'll show you, melt, master. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think which uh, uh, where I'm going to donate the money that I'll win. <laughs> uh, I, I've already picked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure, oh, it's going to be the children's hospital. Oh, that's what I thought too, man. Fuck, okay. Of course, we're dads. We have to think of kids, man. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah. So you, yeah, everybody needs to get a buddy system. If you get I, a buddy system, this is going to be easier because you're going to make fun of each other and you're going to support each other. And we make fun of each other fuck a whole lot. Uh, like literally laughing at each other. But are, you were saying... Um, that's another motivator. We, we, were, we were exchanging messages the other day and you're saying that you're thinking of starting to... Are you comfortable now to train with weights and stuff? Because you, you're with injury, a, right? yeah, without yeah. a, without a, I've trained in the past and a lot after my injury, and it was with a spot, and yeah. somebody I trust too, somebody yeah. who recognizes the moment when I mm -hmm. need their support, you yeah. know, and and it, it worked out very well, and I've tried to do it without, and it was terrible, terrible experience. But you don't almost, have to, but you don't have to go all out either, George. You can start with like small, no, like tens or 15. no, no. But even even not going all out, I could hurt myself. Yeah, like there's a lot of things you don't see. There's certain exercises you can't do in the mirror, you know. So you're not always seeing everything. There's the aftermath. You don't feel it when you're doing it. You're doing it. You're feeling it later, and then you're on your ass for a week. There's a lot of uh, little uh, details. I won't lie to you, man. It's uh, it feels good. I sent you guys a picture. I finally I bought a bench too now, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's really it's really cool. It's really cool. You, do you do abs? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Abs 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 is key. 
absolutely. Uh, and especially for us that have back problems. I mean, well, yours is in the neck, right? Or do you have lower back? No, I mean, it's more upper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the lower higher. back. So there the trick is the it's the core. You got to strengthen the core. You know what? You know what I love, man? The punching bag. The punching bag is just. Pfft. You keep saying that. It's inc- George, it's incredible, dude. Yeah. I, I, I see you. And then the way you and Chris talk about it, and I want to get one too. I know my kids would love it. And it's not like I'm going to go stupid on it because if you know what you're doing, you can get hurt. But just it's mostly just for the cardio, it's like little jabs, you know, it's not uh, like super yeah, power. Yeah, like yeah. eventually you'll, you'll, you'll nail a couple hard ones, but you do 30 minutes on that. Holy mo- Oh my God. And it feels good. Oh. Next day. Yeah. You feel <laughs> good. But uh, I, I have the, the app. So I, I track the thing. I mean, for half an hour, you, uh, I, I lose like maybe 450, 500 calories. Like it's crazy. I believe it. For sure. Crazy. For sure. Intensity. Yeah. You use what? Uh, like a, something that measures your pulse or your like yeah, a step a, counter kind a, of it's thing? It's the whoop. It's the whoop strap. So it measures a, measures a bunch of things. Uh, I, I wanted something mostly for my heart rate because I was waking up in the morning. I was like, <sighs> I wasn't sure what was happening. And I didn't want to get the Apple Watch, even though sometimes I still think about it. But I'm like, oh, it's just another gadget. I just want something to measure uh, sleep, uh, strain. Uh, and you know, a bunch of other things and it's, it's good for me. You know, it's, uh, it measures way more than that, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool the way it's done. And uh, where do you buy this? What's it called? Whoop, uh, W H O O P. I'll send you, you the, I'll send you the link. You order online, you order online. It comes, uh, and, uh you get how the, much, how much it costs around? Uh, I don't remember, man. I don't remember. You recommend I, it. You recommend it to people. I, I do. Yeah, I do. I mean, look, you can, you can get the, the watch. I mean, that's, I think it's pretty much the same thing like what you would pay monthly if you had an Apple Watch, you know? Um, I can't remember. Oh, you have to you have to pay a membership. That's how it works? Yeah, yeah. You got to pay. So you pay it one shot. I, I think I paid it one shot. I think it was, I can't remember. Was it 300 bucks, I think, for a year or something like that? And that um, includes the, the watch itself? It comes with a strap the, and, the, and the little thing, the, the sensor. And uh, I also got this like uh, like a um, like an arm uh, elastic, yeah, like a strap, where because you know when you're punching, it slips away, like mostly for the the punching bag. So I just put it and uh, you put it on your arm. Uh, it's really cool, man. The metrics, um, like, look, the whole point of this is to control. Uh, I'll tell you exactly. Uh, so yeah, you have your uh, your respiratory rate. It measures your blood oxygen, your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability. It has your skin temperature. Uh, and then it, it, it calibrates, well, it measures your, your strain, your recovery and your sleep. So the idea here is to kind of get a good balance. You need, so it, it measures your sleep and then yeah. based on the sleep, how much, how recovered are you? Uh, and how much strain can you, uh, can you exert in, in, in a day? So you got an overall picture of. All yeah. of that. Yeah. The it, level it, of your intensity of your the level exactly. of the intensity of your exercise, your rest, and your sleep. Exactly. Exactly. So uh so and it gives it, you a really good yeah, yeah. Like better it's, it's better than just tracking one thing, it's tracking all this stuff. It's like, tracking it's a lot of things. I think I, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure how the other ones are uh, tracked, but this is cool because like you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh well, you feel a little groggy, and then you go in, and you're like, Yeah, your your recovery is like at 40%. You probably didn't sleep well or whatever, and then you can check your sleep thing and see how many times you woke up in your sleep or whatever. There's a bunch of things, right? So, and I've noticed that like when the recovery is like under 50% or under 60%, uh, I, I can't train the way that I would have trained the day yeah. before. And it gotcha. makes sense. Obviously your body hasn't recovered well, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, and Does it tell you when you've exercised too much? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a basically problem. yeah we'll basically what it does it takes a uh, one or two weeks to get to know you and to calibrate everything with uh, with your body and everything that you do uh there's been times where i hit uh strain that are you know i think it goes all the way up to i can't remember what the number is uh what the figure is but i hit like i don't know 11 or 12 or 13 and i got this little pop-up uh you went above your average strain for the day you know like you can stop um so it tells you like based on your average for whatever time you've been, we've been tracking, it's above or it's below or, you know, and that's how it calibrates your sleep. That's how it calibrates everything. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, um, I'll send you the uh, link. I'm very interested. 
Yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you the link because I really, I really love numbers. I love metrics, man. Like, yeah, I saw the it, way I, I like to do things. Yeah, I saw it from Joe Rogan. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck is that on his on his arm? And he had spoken about it in one of his episodes, and I looked into it. And there's a bunch of things, man. There's this other one. It's a ring, uh, the Ura ring, I think it's called. It does the same thing. And then obviously you have all the the the, the smart watches. But I just wanted, I didn't want to have like another gadget. Like I, I like I've told you guys before, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm addicted to my phone and I didn't want to put another thing on my, on my wrist, <laughs> you know, scrolling. So I'm like, forget so it. You get notified on the app on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is on the phone. And now the, with a new one, cause there's a new, uh, do they connect new, by Bluetooth? Yeah. It's Bluetooth. And, um, now the, you have with, to leave your phone on Bluetooth all day. But my phone is on Bluetooth, Bluetooth all the time. Yeah. Mine isn't. That's why I'm asking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you turn it on and off or? I don't know. Cause then, your, cause then, cause then it wouldn't be measured. And the good thing about it is that you don't have to take it out to charge it. Like the phone, uh, like the watch or the ring or whatever, the way it works, there's a, there's a, like you charge the actual battery pack and then the battery just comes and slides over this. So it's charging while you're still wearing it. So you're, so you're, so the, the app is constantly tracking. Oh. Yeah, whereas the watch, like the Apple Watch, you need to take it out and put it on the charger. So let's say you wear it the whole day and you drain the battery. I want it to track my sleep at that. And I'm like, how does it work? If I need to take out the, the watch and charge it at night, like it won't, you know, it won't, uh, it won't measure anything. So that's so why I kind of leave. Charge the battery pack. Yeah, the there's like a little, it. yeah, there's a little battery. It's like a little square battery and it comes and it slides on top of this and it stays on top and it charges it. So when it's charged, you take it out and you go, you plug that. If I can thought of everything. Yeah. So the bracelet is always on you. Um, so, yeah. So I heard it from, I heard on Rogan and I'm like, oh, let me look into it. And now with the, the latest update, it connects to, uh, well, I have Apple. They have, you know, that, um, that heart, uh, the, the, the health uh, app on the phone, on the Apple. That's, I think that's what they use for the Apple watch as well. So now it syncs to that as well. So whatever metrics you get here, it goes on to the, to the Apple health uh, app or whatever it's called see see, see? i didn't want to exercise now you got me all psyched it, it's cool man because once like you said i'm not a, i'm not a numbers guy you're the you're, you're more numbers guy but when i started using this and i started and then once a week it sends you a report so you get on your phone you're like okay how was my sleep how was my recovery how was my like you have everything it's like four pages like you're scrolling you know all these metrics um and it's super cool so like i have issues still with the sleep I, I'm not getting enough sleep. I know it. Same here. Yeah, Same you know, and I, uh, something I struggle with too. And that affects you because now and my uh, doctor told me I have low vitamin. No, sorry, I had low white cell count, not by much. But she's like, she asked me, she's looking at my blood work. She's like, you don't sleep well. I'm like, no. And I'm like, how do you, how the fuck do you know? It's like because your blood, the white blood cell count is slightly lower than it should be. So she told me I have to work on my sleep. As long yeah. you don't want to cause long term because you forget if you don't set up that habit, yeah, yeah, worse and worse. yeah. And even that on the app is something that you can set. You can set, uh, get a notification when it's time to go to bed, kind of thing. So, like, it measures, uh, it's the cool. hours you sleep, yeah, it's crazy. Because let's say you want yeah. you want to do eight hours and you you punch in that I wake up at six in the morning, well, it tells you, well, you need to be sleeping at that time, you know. Uh, if not, it calculates the sleep deficiency and yeah, like, it's really cool how it's made. Uh, I can't sleep eight hours a day. It's difficult, I can, right? I can't I mean, even force myself to stay in bed that long. Really look, scary. I wake up now, especially since we've got the dog because nobody else is there to take him out. So around 6 45 ish, seven the latest, I gotta be up, you know? So around, so uh, I'm usually up by six forty. Um, and you sleep at what time? Midnight. That's the morning? that's my problem. I sleep late. Like I sleep like uh, twelve, one in the morning. Oh, 12 to six forty is pretty good. That's six hours. It's not enough. It'd be better than what I do. Why? What time? How, when do you sleep? Six is a good night. I usually do around five. Five hours is my 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 average. I've done five hours. Like sometimes I. Well, oh, that's my average. That's my average night. Six is a good night. Why Seven you, you sleep late? Yeah, I sleep late. I wake up early. So I work late a lot of times and I have to wake up early again. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I just want to catch up on something I wanted to watch. I sacrifice a little sleep. That's so bad. Sleep. Like I get caught with that too, man. I get caught with that. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Like the, yeah, we gotta we gotta think of everything all the time. It's hard to we can't we can't indulge, man. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, and even, t- even TV, you can watch TV. <laughs> As you get older, you can do less and less, man. Because the, the problem is this, man. It's like you put your kids to sleep. Let's say uh, the girls go to bed like around 8, 8.30 max. You know, they're in bed. Uh, and then you just have to, uh, and then, you know, we catch up on all these other things. And by the time, you know, like obviously there's the podcasting and all that stuff that I'm doing the, the uh, on the other podcast as well. Uh, preparation and just work, everything, whatever it is. <clears throat> and uh, before you know it, it's like 11, 30, 12. So you're like, ah, oh, shit, man, I, I wanted to watch whatever, something, you know? Uh, okay, I'll go to bed and I'll put it on. And then before you know, it's like, okay, episode one, two, three, four. It's like four in the morning. You're like, holy shit, what the, what, what the hell happened here? <laughs> you know? That's the problem. That's the fucking problem. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on, I'm working on getting uh, better sleep. I, I wish I can, um, I'm going to look into that whoop thing. Cause uh, I, I liked everything I heard. I'll send you, I'll send you the thing. I'll send you a, a I, would, I could really see myself benefiting from all that information. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I don't look, I don't know how the other stuff works. Probably they all do the same thing. The only thing that kind of got me to that is because of the whole gadgety thing. I didn't want to have, uh, like another oh, thing on my wrist. It's, it's you know? still another gadget. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's your phone. But I mean, like when you get calls or messages or emails, nothing beeps on my hand. I don't know if you can remove that with the other, with like the Apple Watch, for example. Oh, Probably yeah. you can. Yeah. But it's like it's constantly there. Bzz, 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 you know, message. Like, you know, this is this is proof that we're at, we're actually cyborgs already. We just don't know it. We don't admit yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Let's uh, go on that note because I have to bounce. All right, Georgie. Uh, thank you all uh, for tuning in. We hope you appreciate the um, the podcast. Thanks for following. Thanks for supporting. Our numbers are uh, are, are 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 climbing consistently, and uh, it's uh, it's you that we have to thank for that. So we do appreciate that. Go on over to Facebook and YouTube. Subscribe, love, and share what we do, and we will see you all on the next and episode. Find a buddy. Find a buddy. Find your buddy. Take George's advice. Get a buddy and start. Uh, your road to a healthier lifestyle. Take care, everyone.